Warning, electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before servicing. Replace all parts and panels before operating. Failure to do so can result in death or electrical shock. This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. In this video, we will demonstrate how to install a water line on a refrigerator. Tools needed. Gather the required tools and parts before starting installation. Note, do not use a piercing type or 3 16 inch 4.76 millimeter saddle valve, which reduces water flow and clogs easier. Connect to water line. Important, if you have turned the refrigerator on before the water was connected, turn off the ice maker. Unplug refrigerator or disconnect power. Turn off the main water supply. Turn on nearest faucet long enough to reduce water pressure in the water line. Use a quarter turn shutoff valve or the equivalent served by a half inch household supply line. Ensure that you have the proper length needed for the job. Insert end of tubing into outlet end squarely as far as it will go. Screw compression nut onto outlet end water supply with an adjustable wrench. Do not over tighten. Place the free end of the tubing into a container or sink and turn on main water supply to flush out tubing until water is clear. Turn off the shutoff valve on the water supply. Note, always drain the water line before making the final connection to the inlet of the water valve to avoid possible water valve malfunction. Connect to refrigerator. Follow the connection instructions specific to your model. Remove plastic cap from water valve inlet port. Using a half inch open-ended or an adjustable wrench, tighten the compression nut. Do not over tighten. Turn on water supply to refrigerator and check for leaks. Correct any leaks. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Plug into a grounded three-prong outlet. Do not remove ground prong. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Plug into a grounded three-prong outlet. Remember to turn your ice maker on and press the ice maker test switch to test for proper operation. Allow 24 hours to produce the first batch of ice. Discard the first three batches of ice produced. Allow three days to completely fill the ice storage bin.